All right, now it's our turn to write our return statements correctly. Uh, Coding Adventor always does this. When you're learning something new, they help you and then they expect you to do it on your own. Um, so we have to write our return statement for safe. And we want it to only return yes when no crow was watching. So obviously we're not gonna start with return yes. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Um, and when anytime you're deleting, make sure you're keeping your spacing correct. Um, so I'm going to return not. This is the same code we wrote for our previous one that Crow Zero is watching. So we're returning yes when Crow Zero is not watching and when Crow One is not watching. Now, there's a lot of things you have to include here, right? Oh, and look, I'm remembering them all, but I put them out of order. So what I was about to say is the easiest thing that goes wrong here is that somewhere along the way you forgot something small. So you might know in your brain you want return not for both of the crows. Um, but like I just did unintentionally, sometimes um, as it starts to get long like that, missing a piece becomes easy. So if you're thinking, oh, I wrote the code, but it's not working, just double check that you don't have some small thing missing. Um, and remember, with our crows, we have to have the monkey saying something until it's safe because then we have to scare them away.